Hi, it's Denise with Ladybug Stamp and here's another video tutorial for you guys today. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> um, and today we're going to play with this country home set. I don't play with it enough and I'm afraid it's going to be going out. I think they're going to retire it at this catalog, so I want to be able to play with it. But this really reminds me of my home, country home. So um, I really wanted to make a card, just a hello card. And we're also going to be using this... Uh, Oh, what is this embossing folder called? Um, tin tile. I think it's tin tile or tile tin. It'll be down in the description below. But we're, we're going to create a little fun technique with this. I know you guys have probably seen this before. But for those that are new to stamping and embossing, we're going to create just, instead of doing a whole sheet, we're just going to emboss half of, or, you know, part of our sheet. Okay? So we're going to be working with some uh, Whisper White and some Bumblebee. And this is Smoky Slate. All right, so let's go ahead and let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get out our piece of smoky slate, and this is cut at four by five and a quarter, and we've got our stamp and cut emboss machine, okay? And we've only got plate one because this is a uh, 3D embossing, textured embossing, and I'm going to bring this up. And how I'm going to do this is I'm going to put this in here a little bit, and I'm going to take this end and I'm going to line it up with this line right here. I hope you guys can see that. So this line right here, okay, that's how I'm going to measure it. Just makes it easier for me. And then I'm going to take my embossing folder and I'm going to scoot it up. You see this line right here? I'm going to put the edge of this with this line right here. Okay, so, and you know, it doesn't have to be exact, okay? So don't fret if it's not exact, it'll be okay. But I'm just going to make sure it's at least lined up, okay? we're going to add something else to that to help with that. All right, so I'm going to emboss it just part way. Then we're going to take plate number three, and I'm just going to slide underneath there like that. And then I'm just going to run it through like this. Sorry, you got to hold on to it. Whoops. All right, so let's move this out of the way. And then we have got our, look, Partial embossing. Look at that. That's what it's called, partial embossing. I don't think I said that at the beginning, did I? <laughs> so now we're going to go ahead and finish our card. So the next thing we have is we'll do our stamping. And we've got two pieces of Whisper White. Um, this is cut at half an inch by one inch for this little piece. And this one is cut at two and a quarter by three and a half. So we're going to get our country home. We're going to get our stamps out here. So I'm going to get this little pit, this picture, not little picture, but picture, I guess. What is little on here, right? And we're going to get this design, and I'll show it to you guys in just a second. But it's the one with the cotton. And we're going to get out the word hello. Wait, this is enjoy. Hello, hello, hello. All right, that's all we're going to be using today. And we're going to use our Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. So we're not going to do any coloring with this. We're just going to stamp it in these t one lovely, with this one lovely color. Okay, so I'm going to ink this up, making sure not to get any on my hands, to not sure any get any on my cardstock. And I'm going to stamp, and I'm going to stamp fairly, you know, at the bottom, like that. And then we're going to get this one, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to ink that up with the same ink. The inking is really easy on this today, you guys. And then I'm going to line the bottom of this right here with the bottom of my, or the top of my can. And I'm just going to, I like to eyeball it like that. And then lay it down. Okay. Isn't that pretty? All right. And then we're going to take our hello. Let me just put that in there in the middle. Okay. And we're going to ink this up. And I'm going to ink it up over, I'm going to have where the E is kind of at the end right here, okay, in the middle. So about like that, okay, like this. All right, now we're done with all of our inking, so we can just go ahead and put our card together. So we're going to get out first, we're going to get out some of this uh, Bumblebee Gingham Ribbon. And we're going to lay it here at the top, so we're going to kind of hide that line. So I don't know if you guys can see it's like a little tiny line right there. So you can either use cardstock or ribbon. I'm going to use ribbon. Okay, so I'm going to get out my paper snips and trim my ribbon right like that. All right, and now I'm going to get out my silicone mat. 
I don't know what that is on there. And I'm going to put adhesive on here because I want it to lay down flat. I don't want it to bubble. So I'm just going to take my Stampin' Seal and I'm just going to run it along my ribbon. Okay. Pull it down a little bit. And I'm just running it along. Now, if you see that some of your ribbon is getting on the edge right there, you can just take your finger and roll it to the back. Okay, so you don't see it. Just like that. Okay, and I'm going to turn it on this side. Getting a little sticky here, but I need a piece on this side. Okay. I'm done with this. Love the silicone mat. Adhesive does not stick to it. Then we're going to take our ribbon and we're going to lay it flat on top of that line. So right, just right above, you want the bottom of this right about the top of that right there, okay? But you don't want to see that line, so we're just going to rub it like that. Take it, push it in the back, adhere it to the back. Oh, I got, I got quite a bit of ribbon off of that, didn't I? Okay, now we're going to take this and we're going to adhere it to some a bumblebee. So we're going to turn this around. Oops. It's going to be a quick card video tonight. I just like, like this embossing. I love this embossing folder. I do not ever want them to get rid of it. But, you know, got to make room for new, right? So we're going to layer that onto some bumblebee. And then we're going to take this, put some adhesive on the back. And we're going to layer that onto a piece of Whisper White cardstock that's cut at um, 11 by 5 and a half, or 4 and a quarter, scored at 5 and a half. And I just laid that down in a, this bumblebee is four and eighth by five and three eighths. And if I didn't already say measurements and supplies listed below, you guys are pretty, getting pretty good with that. Aren't you that I'm saying that? All right. Now this piece of uh, bumblebee is cut at two and three eighths by five and three eighths. So we're just going to adhere this to the top of that like so. Okay. Like that. And then we're just going to take some dimensionals and put on the back to so give it a little bit of height. But we don't take off the backing just yet. Okay. So now we're going to take this hello. And this piece of uh, Bumblebee is cut at, let's see, five eighths by an inch. And so we're just going to take our adhesive and put on the back of this. It's, it's like it doesn't like little pieces. I don't know. I just did this. I just, I just did this. Okay, there we go. I don't know what it is, guys. All right. So we're gonna take and we're gonna layer it like this. Mm, yeah, like this. Okay. I was gonna put it all the way to the edge, but I decided not to. Now we're going to take um, this a little bit adhesive right here. So let me get back out my silicone mat because I don't want it the whole length. And we're gonna put it right there on the edge like that. Okay, now we're going to turn this over and I want the hello like about right here. Okay, so I'm going to adhere it about, about right, about right there. Okay, and you can put this on before you put your dimensionals on if you want to, that's fine. All right, so now I'm going to take my dimensionals off, the backings off, not dimensionals. I'm not taking them off. I just put them on there, the backing off. And we're going to lay this right on there. Okay. Like that. And there we go. Look at our cute little card. Is that not adorable, y'all? And it was quick and fairly easy. Because I didn't use a whole bunch of um oops. I didn't use a whole bunch of different inks. I just used one ink, a couple colors, one embossing folder, one stamp. Very quick card making. Alright, guys. Paper, ink, and um, you know cardstock and embossing folder <laughs> and this is what we use today so remember all the supplies and um, measurements will be down below thank you guys for stopping by today i hope you guys have a lovely day and i will see you later bye